one of the capital's oldest and most historic landmarks. It's once said to have been covered in pure gold. Originally built in the 16th century, it was used by the Lao royal family as its personal chapel and housed the Emerald Buddha, which was taken from Northern Siam, modern day Thailand. The Laotians believed that it had been inhabited by a powerful seven-headed serpent or naga and had the ability to transform into human form. Lying dormant, it would be called upon to protect the city and its people in time of need. According to Lao legend, the naga last appeared in 1827 during the Siamese War to protect the people from the violence that ensued. The Naga unfortunately was outnumbered by the invaders who removed the gold covering from the exterior. Once exposed to the elements, the remaining brickwork turns black over time, giving it the name, the Black Stupa. This place pretty much represents the center of town, the town of Vientiane. That's what the map says, the information given here. It's one of the first uh, historical sites or monuments that you would see when you're getting off the bus, you're coming into Vientiane. It's basically a roundabout around here and it's surrounded by shops. There is a hairdresser over there. There is a cafe over there. Uh, you can still see offerings that are given every day you come here you will see food that is placed on the ledge the lower ledge of the stupa I can't see any right now but this is a kind of offering I'm not sure what this is called I'm gonna take it I'm gonna ask these locals what it's called maybe they can help me hi my friend what is this no. Do you know? Yeah. You don't know? Okay, okay. So I didn't get any help there. Or maybe he doesn't understand my question. But sometimes you would see food, plates of food that are placed right here by the cafes and shops that sell food as offerings. And there would be like a full plate with like chicken, rice, vegetables. And uh, they'll just be sitting there and no one will touch it and it's surrounded by benches that you can come and chill out and sit down on and gaze upon the black stupa that dam you got your broken bench over here you got the local cat you've got these two structures that are alongside the path that walks in i'm not sure what they are there's one there, there's one over here. Uh, they're not very symmetrical in the way they're placed. One is a little bit further away from the path than the other one. And there's some kind of a sign here. I'm not sure what it is. It says Vientiane Capital Implemental Electricity Department from 2012 to 2015. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but there you go. And that is the Black Stupa, that dam. Let's get out of here before the seven-headed dragon comes for me and get a coffee in an appropriately named cafe, that dam. I sat in there for like 20 minutes waiting for a coffee and I still haven't gotten one. That damn cafe.
Behind me stands the Patusai or Victory Gate, which looks almost like a famous monument in Paris, right? Well, that's because it was clearly designed and inspired by the Arc de Triomphe. It was built in the 1960s to commemorate the fallen Laotian soldiers and their struggles for independence against the French Empire in 1949. In the 1960s, the Americans granted the Laotian government money and cement for the purpose of building an airport. But the Laotian government had other ideas. The government instead used the money and cement to build this monument in remembrance of the war. The Laotians nicknamed it the Vertical Runway. It's also worthwhile knowing that the designer of the Patusai was a former Laotian soldier and journalist and also a self-taught sculptor and he was employed by the Lao royal family to design the Patusai and was paid 30,000 kip at the time, which converts to a whopping It's an obvious replica of the Arc de Triomphe, but it has its own Laotian flavor. Uh, it has its Laotian iconography. It seems a little bit beat down though. Uh, they haven't been taking care of it. I'm not sure if the Arc de Triomphe in Paris looks like this, but uh, it needs a bit of care. There's a poster of Messi here. I don't think he's celebrating the maintenance of the Patusai. It's a little bit sad, but that's how it is. In each of the four corners, there are stalls that were selling things at some points, but it seems like they're all closed up. I'm not sure what they were selling. I can imagine they were selling refreshments, drinks, sandwiches, stuff like that. But if it's one thing that I do find impressive is the fountain display. It's even got an avenue, the Champs-Élysées, that's called Land Sang. The Champs-Élysées is about 1.8 kilometers long. On the other end of the Champs-Élysées is the Place de Concorde. This road here, the Land Sang, is 1.4 kilometers. And on the other end is the President's Palace. Let's go and check it out. So I've just walked 1.4 kilometers down this street or avenue called Lansang. 
And if you look on the other end, it's a dead straight avenue or boulevard. If you look on the other end, it's the Patusai. And on this end, 1.4 kilometers later, is the President's Palace. There should be two guards there, but there's no guards today. Maybe the President is on vacation in Thailand. They're usually standing right here. But there's nobody there right now. They usually stand there in their thick, I don't know if it's wool, but their long sleeve uniforms. And they stand there like the Queen's Guards at Buckingham Palace in 40 degree heat. It's unbelievable. I think it's incredible. I thought they'd be standing there today, but they're not. I walk about 10 paces in this heat and I'm pouring with sweat. Those guys are on eight or 10 hour shifts. That's incredible to me. Anyway, I'm out. 